So here it is, Project Morpheus, Sony's answer to virtual reality, just announced. Tristan here, who actually made the demo called The Deep, which is what I'm about to play, is going to put on the headset for me if you want to do the honours. Yep. So it looks pretty sleek and futuristic, and it's pretty comfortable, I have to say. It's being tightened at the back there with a the strap. Good enough. Yep, and that is reasonably comfortable. It feels, feels good, and it feels like a very bright, high-definition screen in okay. front of me. You put your headphones on. Headphones. Now, Sony have been working on the audio side of things as well as the visual to really uh, increase that sense of yep. what they call presence. Face the camera. Okay. The camera is going to be tracking my head, which means that my environment will be changing as I move my head. Everywhere I look, it looks like a sea of blue. I am in a cage right now, and uh, this does feel very, very immersive indeed. I'm looking at lots of fish in front of me and uh, oh, to the side as well, and I'm sinking, feeling slightly nauseous as I'm sinking, I have to say, uh, slightly disorientating being put in this virtual world, and it really does feel like I'm underwater. It's quite an extraordinary feeling. I can move with the controller here, and this controller is talking to the PlayStation and allowing me to move my, my virtual light. Now, it is a little bit disorientating, because, of course, my whole world is just completely changed. I'm looking down at my fins, and I'm literally looking around in 360 degrees. Now, Sony anticipate that uh, this Project Morpheus, as it's been codenamed, will work with, obviously, games with the PlayStation 4, but with a number of other experiences as well. And they've partnered with NASA, for example, to show you uh, what it might be like uh, if you're on the red planet on Mars. So this is clearly a... Oh, there's a shark that's just come and bitten the cage. My God, I wasn't expecting that. You didn't tell me about that, Tristan, wherever you've gone. Um, this is clearly a game enhancer, but is it a game changer for the industry? Well, I think a lot depends on the pricing. Oculus Rift, which is another virtual reality competitor, have just announced that their PC-compatible system will be available this summer for $350, and so Sony's pricing will be key. And of course, Sony's virtual reality headset, whatever it's called in the final version, uh, will only be compatible with the PlayStation 4.